I just want to let you know, jail's not that bad. It's um, it sucks, <laughs> but it's it's not the worst thing ever. <laughs> you know, so don't don't fret if that. I hope it doesn't does happen, but if it does happen, it's it's not that bad. Good to know. Sam. Sam. I just wanted to let you know, jail's not that bad. It's um, it sucks, <laughs> but it's it's not the worst thing ever. You know, so don't don't fret if that. I hope it doesn't does happen, but if it does happen, it's it's not that bad. Good to know. The FTX servers A 12-member jury in Manhattan federal court convicted the 31-year-old on all seven counts he faced after a month-long trial in which prosecutors made the case that he stole $8 billion from the FTX's customers. Now, the verdict came just shy of one year after FTX filed for bankruptcy in a swift corporate meltdown that shocked financial markets and erased his estimated $26 billion personal fortune. Now, Bankman Freed had pleaded not guilty to two counts of fraud and five counts of conspiracy. The conviction is a victory for the Justice Department and Damien Williams, the top federal prosecutor in Manhattan, who made rooting out corruption in financial markets one of his top priorities. Now, Bankman Freed, a Massachusetts Institute of Technology graduate, could face decades in prison when his sentence is determined at a later date. Sirach, Ecclesiastes 12 and 10. Never trust thine enemy, for like his iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust hath not been altogether wiped away. Right, first and foremost, as always, we want to start this lesson off by giving our honor, glory, and praises unto our power. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakat Kudash. Shalom to the sincere hearted, sincere elders, teachers, bishops of GMS Great Millstone, as well as the lack minded elders. Much dear, much due honors, respect, salutations unto you, as well as your households, and Yahweh Bashim Hashem to the sincere hearted, lack minded believers and teachers of the hopeful like remnant, the house of David, the hopeful house of David. Speaking of you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Haitians, West Indians, and Israelite foreigners are scattered abroad. Those who derive from the seed line of our forefather Jacob through Abraham and Isaac. You make up the 12 tribes of Israel that the Bible speaks of. May you seek repentance and salvation in these latter days. Shalom to the Akim and the Akiawa, brothers and sisters who may be tuning in. Lord's will, this lesson will be edifying, comforting, and exhorting to the hopeful like remnant of the nation of Israel. Now, this is the brother Nathan. Brother Benah. We're coming at you with a joint lesson through the spirit power of Yahweh Bashim al Shak. And Lord's will, this lesson will be edifying, comforting, and exhorting to the hopeful like Israel. That's right. Yahweh Bashim al Shak brought a to the hopeful we left out there. That's right. So as you saw, Sam Bankman Free right, recently brought up and found guilty on charges, you know, and could face, you know, uh, you know, quite a quite a hefty little 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 uh, sentence there as far as that goes. Right. So as you'll see here, per ZeroHedge.com, Sam Bankman Free found guilty on all counts, faces over 100 years in prison. Right. So, of course, he's looking to appeal the situation. OK. Now, if you go further down in this article, again, per ZeroHedge.com. Part of the, uh, the the case against him, right? It says, according to Assistant U.S. Attorney Nicholas Roos, the answer lies in a pyramid of deceits, quote unquote, with $10 billion in customer funds vanishing into a black hole of personal indulgences and opaque financial maneuvers. And again, this is verbatim for the article. It says the defendant schemed and lied to get money, which he spent, Roos told the court, dismantling the image of an earnest entrepreneur caught in a misstep. Cohen's defense strategy leaned heavily on the sworn testimony of Bankman Freed himself, who took to the stand in what former prosecutor Renato Mariotti described as a deliberate attempt to downplay his involvement, meant to reduce his role, Mariotti said, noting 
the pointed references to a youthful lack of experience and the burdens of leadership. And so they're trying to downplay his, his role in the situation, try to, you know, pass the buck, if you will, trying to make fall under the guise of being youthful. Uh, he was burdened by his leadership role, so on and so forth, right? Oh, hey, and this is all part of uh, the judgment and, you know, the wicked being uh, brought to light. Mm-hmm. And I uh, got a quick precept by the shot. If you want to pull it up, um, this is going to be uh, Luke 6 and 25. This instantly comes to mind. It says, uh, Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. That's right. And we see uh, these devils thinking that they can continue to... Uh, you know, rob the poor and continue to, uh, you know, build a, a pyramid system off of uh, deceiving the, those that are vulnerable, man. And all these things are being brought to light. And, and these guys that, that were laughing, thinking they're going to, uh, you know, to, uh, uh, you know, sail off uh, in, in the sunset, you know, with their riches, man. They are, are, are mourning and weeping because judgment's coming down from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah and, and, you know. We, we are the ones to uh, be benefits of Yahweh's judgment, Adawan Ratzazah, that we are the ones that are, are going to be joyous with, with his judgment. Mm-hmm. Gone. Absolutely. Right. Full in, in the carnal sense, right? Carnal riches, resources, so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. And like the Akbanan just said, robbing the poor, right? The motherless, you know, I'm um, the fatherless, right? The widow, right? Speaking of our people, right? Speaking of the nation of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, again, Haitians, West Indians, all those driving from the sea line of our forefather Jacob. So again, they shall hunger in their time of judgment, right? In these latter days, we're seeing that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is bringing forth righteous judgment, right? Indignation in the form of his visitation of the earth and these different judgments that are taking place. And now again, at the coming of his only begotten son, will the final judgments be taking place, right? So woe, meaning death and destruction unto them, right? They're going to laugh now. Yeah, they're thinking they're living it up. They're gathering, you know, all these carnal riches, resources, man, and that of the world, heaping people and nations unto themselves and so on and so forth, pushing forth falsehoods and doctrines, right? But at the end, they're going to they're gonna, gonna be the ones to weep, right? You know, that's why you're seeing all these different things that are coming to light, and they're causing a lot of these people to take their own lives, Right. I read an article recently about just a, a, a one example of a pastor, right, a quote unquote pastor of a church who was uh, uh, he got found out to be a, a cross gen, a cross dressing. Uh, yeah, like an alias, you know, like a, a second uh, split personality type deal, right? A secret identity. And uh, he got found out and I believe he ended up committing suicide. Right. <clears throat> so there's a lot of things that are coming forth to the light. All right, same thing with these these uh, blue collar uh, slakia, these uh, uh, white collar criminals, as they refer to them as, right? You know, these Wall Street, you know, embezzlers and, and so on and so forth. These people that deal with falsehoods and, and and deceive people out of money and so on and so forth. They get found out. Often they end up taking their own lives or, or you know what? Hey, Amen. Whatever the Lord wills. So we're, we're in that time of judgment. Now we're from now we're from back to that Sirach, uh 12 and 10. Right. Never trust thine enemy. Right. So who's our enemy? First and foremost, Esau of Edom, the self-proclaimed so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of, and that's referring to those who derive from the seed line of Esau of Edom, not according to appearance, but according to the lineage of their fathers, pursuant to Numbers 1 and 18. Your biblical nationality is, is uh, based on the lineage of your father, the seed line of your father, right? So continuing on, it says, for as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness, right? Because iron will rust, right? Okay oxidation so on and so forth right it is bound to rust it says so it's his wickedness right because it will always be there it is continuously there verse 11 though he humble himself and go crouching in a sense of being humble right going crouching seeking to come to you for your betterment under the guise of serving you and and for what's good for you and your household yet take good heed and beware of him and thou shalt not be as to him as and thou shalt be unto him as though as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, a mirror, a looking glass, and thou shalt see that his rust had not been together, altogether wiped away. Right? So, yeah, you can wipe it. You can see it, man. And ultimately, you're going to see that that rust is still there. It has not changed. 
So as the heavenly father, your help, Hashem, you shine. His words do not change. And for the enemies, right, the rest of the 16 heathen nations upon the face of the earth, aside from Esau, beat them, their wickedness does not change either. So we are not to trust them, right? So with that juicy juice and ultimately the coming of the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast, Revelation 13 speaks of, right? They're going to come to you under disguise that it is for your betterment. It is to serve you well. However, it is the exact opposite. It is contrary to how Bashim El Shai and the ways that are set out for our people. Um, um, and we need to uh, remember that these um, <clears throat> these Edomites, man, uh, Esau has that that spirit to where he will not, um, what does the scripture say that he will not rest until he slay his brother, Jacob? Mm -hmm. Yep. Con, yep, yep. You know, having that perpetual hatred. Mm -hmm. Yep, con. A fourth time when Esau. Uh, had had uh, you know given the time to mourn his father, uh, our forefather Isaac, right? And then after that, I said, "Now will I slay my brother Jacob?" Just to paraphrase it, mm -hmm. right? So because of skill, again, he, he took the blessing, right? He he's he he sold the blessing, he sold the birthright, and then he ultimately did not receive it when he sought after it with tears. Thus said the scriptures. And so again, he's, he's uh you know he's just in that spirit of revenge or that perpetual hatred like the Aquanon just mentioned. And let's take a look at this after uh, Bankman Freed was found guilty. My name is Damian Williams, and I'm the United States Attorney here in the Southern District of New York. Sam Bankman Freed perpetrated one of the biggest financial frauds in American history, a multi-billion dollar scheme designed to make him the king of crypto. But here's the thing, the, crypto, the cryptocurrency industry might be new, the players like Sam Bankman Freed might be new. But this kind of fraud, this kind of corruption is as old as time. And we have no patience for it. My name is Damian Williams. Yeah. So again, it's as old as time, right? Going back to the garden, that deceit, the deception, right? But a lot of these devils that are in bed with guys like Bankman Freed and whatnot, right? Because the, the, the rabbit hole goes deep, as they say. You know, they're going to be the ones that catch judgment as well, right? So this is, again, this could all just be very much a ploy, if you will, a guise to, to usher in government control of cryptocurrencies, a.k.a. CBDCs, Central Bank Digital Currencies, right? So right now they're privatized crypto companies like Bitcoin, so on and so forth. But ultimately, it's going to come to a close, right? The privatized cryptocurrency markets will no longer exist and it will all be controlled by governments, right? So let's go into Isaiah 59 and 3. It says, for your hands are defiled with blood and your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies. Your tongue hath muttered perverseness, right? So this can also be applied to, of course, the wicked of our people, right? Okay, but also this can be applied to the wicked, right? Speaking of the wicked, Esau Vedum, pursuant to Malachi chapter one. Okay, so continuing on again, they have muttered perverseness, right? Their, their, their ways are perverse, right? Crooked. Okay, and they are contrary to the ways of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, constantly devising and speaking lies, right? So again, your fingers with iniquity, the defilement with blood, your fingers with iniquity, iniquity being sin upon sin. Lawlessness, Isaiah 59 and 4, none calleth for justice. None, uh, then that term justice also goes into judgment. So it says, none calleth for justice, nor any pleadeth for truth. They trust in vanity and speak lies. They conceive mischief and bring forth iniquity. And so, again, many of our people are going along to get along as well, right? Right along with these devils. They're not calling for what's right. They're not calling for justice, indignation of Yao Bashim Yao Shai. No, they want to see this world continue on as um, it is. And they are enticed, uh, continuing to buy into the system that Esau is ushering in mm -hmm. with his uh, B system, mm -hmm. intrigued with the, the carnal temporary riches that it has to offer mm -hmm. you know things that aren't really there that they're grasping at um babu shah uh you made me think of uh nahum three and one if you could just pull that up real quick yeah. uh, nahum three and one woe to the bloody city whoa destruction coming to the the bloody city uh being chiefly uh America, Babylon, it says it is all full of lies and robbery. So these Edomites continue to build their empire off of deceit, 
lies and, and robbery taken from from Jake, coming from uh, the, the natives that were here and and building through their their you know slave trade and, and empire off of Jake's back. It says the prey departeth not. So there you go. Like the brother and Tom was just mentioning, man, you got most of these two thirds continuing to, um, you know, to want to see this thing continue, wanting to, uh, uh, you know, be in that that state of mind, that, that state of a uh, so-called uh, liberal liberal state of mind, and, and trying to uh, really hone in on, on how these things are, are beneficial, and, and continuing to, you know, esteem wickedness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, absolutely and like the the brother just made a beautiful point you know you have many of our people that do not want to to depart spiritually mentally nor consider to do so physically by ways of yahweh bashim al shai and then they are not calling for justice man they are not calling for righteousness in the eyes of yahweh bashim al shai none of them are, are you know it's only the hopefully left man that are signing prior for the abominations right now man mm -hmm. Come. So the prey departeth not, right? Esau known as the cunning hunter, the fowler, right? So all these different ways of ensnaring and entrapping our people through these different forms of witchcraft and enchantments and, and gradualism, so on and so forth. You know, our our, our people very much have like cases of, of Stockholm syndrome. They love their captor, right? So again, the prey departeth not because Esau of Edom through the wickedness and ultimately through the blessing of the sword, so on and so forth, has continuously devised ways of ensnaring and entrapping our people and keeping them in perpetual forms of enslavement. Um, and, you know, uh, uh, like the point that the brother was saying, you know, he makes me think of Job 20 also, you know, that, that uh, you know, that his belly shall be full, you know, so he's going to devour a lot of our people, man, that are, that are unwilling to depart from Babylon, man. Was that the 19 to 20? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll start. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and pull that up. This you know, just going in on some of the judgment that's coming in the reason. Um, it says Job 20 and 19, because he hath oppressed and hath forsaken the poor. That's right. So these dudes are, are heartless, man. These, uh, um, these guys have no pity, man. They will take uh, every last bit of what you have, man, and they have a, uh, um, you know, no regard for the, the elderly, the, the poor, the fatherless, children, mm -hmm. any of that. It, going back to the curses, mm -hmm. of Deuteronomy twenty-eight, mm -hmm. and it says, uh, "Because he hath violently taken away an house which he builded not." Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, these devils uh, go on and, and continue to uh, uh, inherit the, you know, the. The work that was, you know, that was done by their, their forefathers, man. All the wickedness and all the um, atrocities that their fathers have committed. They mm -hmm. continue to uh, um, build up on that. Mm -hmm. Continuing to further the, the you know, what does it say? Furthering the affliction mm -hmm. of, of, of yeah. the children of Jacob, man. That's right. That's right. As scripture say, paraphrasing, says, uh, yeah, I was wroth with the heathen. They forwarded the affliction of our people man so he saw and Edom took it too far you know like the Akbana just said you know they their forefathers had shed much blood you know going back to going back to the ancient world going um, coming up to Cristobal Colon aka Christopher Columbus coming to the western hemisphere right so again they violently taken away a house which he built it not right so they coming into the western region again hemisphere of the world all throughout the world after thereafter right you know Babylon America okay I have that known as the the mother of harlots right the virgin the virgin daughter of babylon right that great whore that sitteth upon many waters and that term many waters spoken of in the book of revelation goes into many lands many nations right so military bases all across the world raging raging the wars with these different countries and, and finding different ways to to go after their carnal resources their riches quote unquote right install these uh, puppet shadow governments and so on and so forth you know all these people that are these quote unquote representatives that are in bed with the WEF and the WHO, so on and so forth. You know, so that's again how they continue to to keep these people, you know, in, in a perpetual slavery as well. Uh, finished with uh, Job twenty and twenty. Um, Surely he shall not feel quietness in his belly. He shall not save of that which is which he desired. 
So, hey, he will not feel quietness in his belly because he has that insatiable appetite. Esau beat him. These elites, the wicked, they think that they can go ahead and, uh, you know, and and complete their, their enterprise. Mm-hmm. What does it say in, uh, what is that? Uh, Wisdom of Solomon? Mm-hmm. Uh, his enterprise? Mm-hmm. Uh, Salakia. Can't think of that. Uh, where it's at off the top. Oh, they cannot fulfill his enterprise? Or is that uh, oh, yeah, we can also, yeah, yeah, we can also bring that up too. Yeah, that's 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 a good one through the spirit. Yeah, let's bring this up out of Job five and twelve. He disappointed the devices of the crafty, and the term devices goes into a plot or a scheme. And right? so again, speaking of the heavenly Father de- disappointing the devices of the crafty, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Uh, so hey, Esau, Edom, these elites, they're they're working away, trying to perform their enterprise, trying to bring in this uh, this digital ID. The leading up to the MOTB mm-hmm. and, you know, this whole, uh, um, you know, and implementing the, the mandatory chip. Mm-hmm. But we know that Yao Bashim Yao Shai, he is going to disappoint these devils in the end, man, according to, uh, you know, prophecy. So we are here, you know, continuing uh, departing from Babylon, America, from the ways of this world, man, seeking the return of our savior, man. That'll be how Bashim Yahusha, Yahusha Mashiach. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Blowing the trumpet, warning the people. Mm-hmm. And it says that I beautifully referenced, and I'll pull that, we'll pull that back up in Job 20 and 20, right? Where it says, uh, He shall not save that which he desired, right? So, yeah, he's, he's gonna go ahead and try to build that up. You know, the scriptures speak about that. You know, he, he's gonna get pierced through, right? Once, once that, he's gonna look to consume all that he's built up right that the heavenly father is allowing him to do and then at the very end he's not going to be able to enjoy the uh the the fulfillment of, of that prophecy because the heavenly father that's that's the pit that's the apex of it right that's the climax is when when they they just about to fulfill it bam the heavenly father is going to come down with that judgment and rather quick as the scripture saying one hour here judgment coming so speaking of babylon america being destroyed within an hour Right. So the point being is that, again, they are looking to build all that up and it is just to fulfill biblical prophecy. Right. You know, so, again, he shall not save of that which he desired. Right. So they're looking to have everything and everything, everyone. They're looking to capture your very spirit, your very soul. Right. But at the end of the day, again, this is all part of the Lord's movie. Right. He's building it up and ultimately just building them up to bring them down. Right. Just a four time as a four time. Right. In the ancient world. Pharaoh being built up, you know, and the, the Lord, Yahweh Shai hardening Pharaoh's heart, his spirit to, to not let our people go. So that what? So that at the end, when, when we were given that salvation by our, through our forefather Moses, through the parting of, of the Red Sea, so on and so forth, right? It was mighty and it was spoken of. It was known throughout the, the quote unquote known world. The um, Shai. And even greater will this next exodus be out of Babylon, America. Mm-hmm. And you know, uh, mm-hmm. and this is uh like the scriptures say, this is all to glorify the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is for his name's sake. Mm-hmm. Absolutely beautiful. So let's get back to uh this is Isaiah 59. Let's get back to uh verse five. Isaiah 59 and 5. They hatch cockatrice eggs, which the term cockatrice goes into a serpent, right? A venomous snake. So it says, and weave the spider's web. He that eateth of their eggs dieth, and that which is crushed breaketh out into a viper. Their webs cannot become garments, neither shall they cover themselves with their works. Their works are the works of iniquity, and the act of violence is in their hands. Right? So this they cannot become garments. They cannot become garments of truth. Right? It is deceitful. Right. They cannot cover them truly because it will be brought to light. It will be exposed and will be brought down. So they cannot cover themselves with their works. They cannot escape the judgment of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai. Right. The act of violence is in their hands. Right. Again, through rape, rob and pillage and tremendous amounts of bloodshed and continuous oppression and affliction and iniquity. Have they maintained their their quote unquote position of power, right? which again was the blessing that Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai had given starting with Esau of Edom, really, but these other heathen nations are partakers in that as well. So that's why, again, they will face that judgment as well. Um, 
town and two thirds of our own people that are aligning themselves mm -hmm. with the wicked, man. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, well said. Isaiah fifty nine and seven: Their feet run to evil, and they make haste to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity. Wasting and destruction are in their paths. Right. So these devils, you know, going back to Sam Bankman Fried and all these other devils who are looking to run it up as far as taking from the poor, taking and selling these falsehoods, these false hopes to the people, or you can become a crypto millionaire, so on and so forth, right? All that noise. Well, it, it just repeats itself. History repeats itself, right? So they're going to build it up and then cash out before they pull the plug, right? That's exactly what happened with FTX and, and other other quote-unquote crypto companies and so on and so forth. That's what's going to happen to Bitcoin. That's what's going to happen to all these privatized crypto companies. And, and again, these different stock market companies and so on and so forth, man. Right? So verse, not, uh, verse 8, the way of peace, they know not. And there is no judgment in their goings. Again, judgment, where it's also referencing justice, right? And it says, they have made them crooked paths. Whosoever goeth therein shall not know peace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, man. That's what the scripture says. There's no peace to the wicked. To the wicked, God. Mm -hmm. That's right, man. Mm -hmm. That's right, man. So and, the ways are perverse. And just like uh, scripture say also in Isaiah, um, that the Arwan, he, he created them to be uh, the waster and the destroyer, you know, mm -hmm. the destroyer of, of their own, you know, time period, Esau of Edom. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's right. How ironic and beautiful is that, right? That the Heavenly Father has, has used them, right? Use use the, you know, Manhattan Project and, and whatnot, these, the creation of the weapons of mass destruction, which are ultimately going to be their own demise and ultimately send upon you know them for judgment man how beautiful is that yep yep and uh you know these days being sped up for the elect's sake because they these these damn devils are are wasting and destroying everything man. Mm -hmm. destroying you know continually uh you know depleting all the the earth's resources man and mm -hmm. continuing to uh destroy it mm -hmm. gone gone so these devils you know just something else wanted to add from that is that insiderpaper.com bankman free found guilty of massive crypto fraud but just one part of this i wanted to bring up was it says right here the star witness in the trial was caroline ellison the former alameda ceo and bankman freed's on again and off again girlfriend quote unquote and it says she told the jury they had stolen around 14 billion from ftx clients and that bankman freed as owner of alameda directed me to commit those crimes quote unquote that money was used to finance venture capital deals and political contributions, as well as real estate in the Bahamas. It was it also um, political contributions, and uh, yep, and that's how you know, uh, you know, all these lobbyists are all in bed with the um, the elites, man. All in bed and all pawns for this uh, this WF this elitist agenda, man. Mm -hmm. Gone. You know, I can't remember if uh, now from what I understand is that Caroline Ellison's father, I believe he has a position either within the SEC, the Security Exchange Commission or another governmental body uh, administration. But he does have a high ranking position within uh, the, the U.S. government. And again, it could be the SEC or it could be another uh, administration, part of the administration. But the point being that, like the Aquanon just said, they're very much uh, in bed with lobbyists, political figures, you know, major contributors to Biden's presidential campaign, so on and so forth. So these devils, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of there's a long paper trail. Now, continuing on, it says uh, it also went towards paying uh, tens of millions of dollars to celebrities, including Tom Brady and Giselle Bundchen, to gain their endorsement of FTX, as well as buying the naming rights for the Miami Heats, which is NBA uh, home arena. According to prosecutors, just over $8 billion belonging to customers had vanished into bad investments as Alameda at the time of FTX's collapse. Right. So just just to say, you know, just to add more details into their folly and, and that they're they're kind of spreading that, you know, spreading that around and allocating it in different fashions and ways. And ultimately, um, you know, there's a lot of people that benefited from this wickedness. Right. This is uh, Proverbs 14 and 31. He that oppresseth the poor reproacheth his maker, mm -hmm. but he that honoreth him have mercy on the poor. Mm -hmm. Sorry, man. So again, you're going to reproach your maker, right? Okay, you're going to, you know, those who do not reference Yahweh, Shema, Shai in any which way, those who do not fear the Most High, even if they're outside of the nation of Israel, man, right? That is still, 
having uh, a, a disdain and and uh, showing very um, a disregard for the Holy One of Israel and the, the Creator of the heavens and the earth, who is only begotten Son. Right, man. Yeah. Right. No, and that's the the spirit of Yahvashim Yasha that we we ought to be in is the spirit of uh, charity, man. You know, mm -hmm. spirit of uh, uh, looking after one another, man, and and, and you know you. You give something and you receive something, you know, mm -hmm. you give freely, though. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it just made me think of uh, when he says uh, about mercy, man, um, he that, that you want to pull it up. Yeah. Oh, That's a spare. That's a spare working. Uh, this is James 2 and 13. For he shall have judgment without mercy that hath showed no mercy and mercy rejoiceth against judgment. Mm -hmm. Right, man. So, hey, you you give no mercy, show no mercy, you'll receive no mercy. Mm -hmm. That's right, man. So, yeah, they've shown no mercy on the poor. Again, they have shown no mercy on our people. And mercy rejoices against judgment. And we're praying mm -hmm. all the hopefully, like all you brothers and sisters are praying for mercy from Yah Bashim Yah Shai, because we know the ultimate judgment is coming. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely, man. So these devils are about to receive no mercy. And again, that is just, that is righteous in the eyes of Yahweh Shem El Shai. All right, so recently you go into other aspects of banking and, and the failing thereof, right? Just recently over this this past couple of days, I believe it was reported on Friday, right? It says customers at big banks report account problems, right? So going into this, this is from thinkadvisor.com. Again, thinkadvisor.com. It says, what you need to know, a clearinghouse processing snag as what they claim to be, appeared to affect J.P. Morgan Chase, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, True uh, Trust, and U.S. Bank. Customers reported delayed payroll direct deposits. The clearinghouse, which operates a giant ACH network, said it was working with affected banks. Now, going into it, it says customers at J.P. Morgan Base, uh, Chase, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, Truce, Truce, or Trust, and U.S. Bank, among others, encountered problems Friday with delayed direct deposits. An issue apparently tied to the processing snag of multiple clearinghouse network on outage monitor. It's like an outage monitoring site down detector indicated various problems at a multiple institutions at multiple institutions, like it, including issues with account balances, transactions, and deposits. The site logged hundreds of reports on various account snags. "Quote unquote." Hey Amen. And, and who do you think that this? affects the most mm -hmm. this affects jake mm -hmm. out there um you know living paycheck paycheck to paycheck mm -hmm. you know trying to cash in on, on friday and i believe uh what was that that was uh on the third so mm -hmm. you got a lot of uh, our people man trying to pay pay their rent trying to you know make sure and get all the bills taken care of and these damn devils man are, are keeping them from uh receiving their funds you know and, and that is that is that in, in itself, um, you know, that is a sin against the Heavenly Father, man, withholding wages from from the people, mm -hmm. from the workers. Mm -hmm. God, absolutely. You know, and mind you, also, brothers and sisters that may have had late fees applied to them because mm -hmm. they were not able to to pay their bills on time because of a delay like this. You know, that could really put some people in a really bad spot. You know, that could cause people to get their cars repossessed. That could cause people to get their cell phones shut down, water, gas, electricity, not be able to buy food for their children, right? So on and so forth. Okay. So that can cause a lot of hardships. Now, continuing on in the same article, it says the issue is affecting multiple banks and bank customers because a payroll file or files have not yet come through per Chase Bank. Now, it says uh, a Wells Fargo spokesperson referred to question on the matter to Clearinghouse company that operates payment networks that clear and settle more than two trillion dollars daily quote unquote the clearinghouse th tch has experienced a processing issue with a single ach file tch is working with impacted financial institutions on the matter a spokesman for the clearinghouse told think advisors via email around noon tch operates the electronics payment network epn an automated clearinghouse ACH network and the Federal Reserve operates Fed ACH. These are the two authorized automated clearinghouses in the U.S. They sort the payments received from banks and direct them to the receiving financial institutions. And another thing that is very important to consider as well is people's belief and trust in the financial system, right? The banking systems, so on and so forth. So when people start to have uh, skepticism 
and they start to distrust the integrity of these banking systems, right? They're going to be more inclined and more willing to go along with, say, a government ran cryptocurrency, right? They're going to be more inclined and they're going to be more enticed and enchanted to believe that the federal government would have their best interest when they ultimately create these CBDCs and when they institute, you know, these these RFID microchips to be mandated, to be forced upon the people, right? So just that's another thing to consider as well, is that people are, when you start to create skepticism, disbelief, and uh, you start to create uh, friction, you know, uh, you know, you start to rile people up in anger, then, then that really, you know, that, that can put a lot of people in a position to be swayed, you know, one way or another because of that. And, and uh, you know, you saw Edom, you know, the father of lies, they, they have used propaganda to to steer the people in, in media going into a, a medium, which is a, a witchcraft for the mind, have continued to control our people through that way. Mm -hmm. And this is another part of that, that gradualism, like the brother uh, Nathan was just mentioning, uh, leading onto that RFID, mm -hmm. that Zip, man. Right? Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. absolutely continuing to uh, create a narrative of distrust in the the current banking system mm -hmm. beautiful absolutely and we'll continue on here and then another aspect of that right this right here per x slash twitter saying uh chase bank refused to accept cash and then threatens to call the police on an upset customer there's more and more of these videos coming out right so let's take a look at this right here Hot customer service when somebody lives 130 miles away. Well, we can take you to your check. Money. I know. I, I tell you, when I walk out of this damn bank, I'm going to get on Twitter. I'm going to blast the hell out of JP Morgan for not even cash at a bank. That's the most stupidest thing I've ever heard. Right. Do you feel that way? That's it, crazy. It's crazy. Somebody walks in the customer, gets cash, and you won't take it. You and you can, won't make an exception. I'm going to leave the building or I will call the police. Or, or Lady, I don't care who the call this is ridiculous not to take cash on the, uh, it is chase it's not me virtually unappreciating yelling at me like that yeah but, but you have the ability to do customer service why can you not take a fifty dollars yeah then right there we have to track where all cash comes from right so that right there is going into what they they want to be able to track all transactions where they originate so that goes into cryptocurrency the blockchain so on and so forth uh on and ultimately leading them to um where and what people spend their money on mm -hmm. God. absolutely yeah i'll put this uh, uh you know this new going ongoing you know quote unquote agenda 2030 and so on and so forth social uh social credit score things as such right you know uh they're gonna look to limit people's ability uh of uh, opportunity and uh ability to buy you know whatever amounts of type of products right Oh, you've reached your limit on gas. You've reached your limit on meat. You've reached your limit on these type of products, so on and so forth. They're going to try to base it off of the things that they will and ultimately come down with unrighteous decrees. Kind of, kind of got me, uh, reminds you of that one uh, movie with Wesley Snipes. Where, oh, uh, uh, you know, they go underground. There's the underground trade market. De yeah, demolition, demolition man. man. Demolition, kind of, man. Kind of, mm -hmm. This is uh, shades of that because that is to come, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Absolutely. Absolutely. People are going to be uh, doing those, you know, under under the table, uh, you know, even underground type of, uh, mm -hmm. you know, bartering and, and trades. Yep. Gone. Yeah. They, they had him down there. Uh, Sylvester Stallone's character down there eating a rat burger. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's what it's going to come to. At least make a hundred or two hundred. So it does have to be checked. I asked the printer, but I don't know why. So if my mom walks up the fifty dollar bill, you're going, you're not going to take the cash from her. If it's her credit card, then we happily would take the payment for her. If you were a signer on that account, we would happily make that payment for you. Okay. Well, I've never heard. That's. A, I'm still going to get on the social media and blast J.P. Morgan Chase I mean, for this. Oh, I am. That. Trust me, I am. And because you know, social media gets a whole lot of attention. So I'm not going to call Chase and complain. I'm going to blast him on social media. Either way, whatever you want to do. It's not your fault. I agree with you. Actually. My mom but is seventy eight. She lives one hundred and thirty miles from here. They won't take a cash payment for credit cards. That's not their fault. How do you think I feel? Okay. Go tell me okay. to get a money order. I That's great. It's not customer service. One, I'm not at all. The balance. Okay. Yeah, so hey man, that's. 
how much more you know intense will that get when people are really going to uh go to you know more extreme measures quote unquote when these harsh times come right? yeah. absolutely yeah this is the book of isaiah chapter 10 and verse 1 it says woe again meaning death and destruction unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and the right grievousness which they have prescribed all right let's go into this term uh grievous uh slakio decrees slakio for that and strong screen uh this is the strong's hebrew slakio strong's h 2711 hey kick hey kick hey right from isaiah 10 and 1 decrees right and also before let's let's go ahead and get the definitions against slakio now this one goes into a decree resolve a statute right action prescribed right a resolution a thought and let's also grab this from edamonline.com online etymology dictionary decree goes into a special ordinance or regulation prom uh, prom promulgated by authority right another definition also goes into decree decide pronounce a decision right so again put, uh, the point being is that that authority right and as the scriptures say when the wicked are in authority the people mourn right so again man that rulership those ordinances and you know, how much more grievous is it going to be when people are are not able to to pay with uh federal reserve notes right fiat currency your paper your coins all that is is uh meaningless right when everything goes digital and you got many people that are unable to um they're going to be unable to convert to that system you know mm -hmm. just like that guy was mentioning his his elderly mother you know that is going to affect a, a um, certain groups more heavily as well mm -hmm. but ultimately that's going to lead on to that anarchy you know people uh, these places being hit man with the violence robbery mm -hmm. uh, strong arm robbery mm -hmm. and you know these the people that are working for these corporations and for these businesses man are, are going to get tired of it. they're not going to want to take the hit man yep. so they're just going to let these people just grab whatever they want mm -hmm. and go ultimately you know, part of Esau's plan to come forward with the uh, martial law, man. Con, you got that order out of chaos, that mm -hmm. order out of chaos. Yeah, that's right. Gonna lead into the, that martial law. Absolutely. Absolutely. And further, you now going diving down into digital ID, you know, everything that's taking place to further um, usher in digitalization and different aspects of government, your daily life, quote unquote, and ultimately the RFID microchip, which is going to, again, be mandated biometricupdate.com reports says UNDP which stands for the United National Development Program launching inclusive digital public infrastructure development initiative now it says right here this uh, being released within the past week here right it says uh, the program will on November 8th roll out a program tagged 50 IN5 50 and 5 meant to advance the conversation around the development of safe inclusive and interoperable Digital Public Infrastructure, DPI. Again, Digital Public Infrastructure. All right, now they say UNDP, Digital, the section of the UN agency working to promote inclusive digital development around the world. Mind you, again, the UN part of that B system, right? The NATO, EU, the UN all, you know, embed pretty much together. But again, there are, you know, there are, uh, you know, those that are within those bodies that are not, going along with the narrative uh, that's being pushed primarily by Babylon America and the NATO EU system. I will say that. Yeah, there's, there are nations that are coming up against that. They're a part of the UN. Now, continuing on, it says again, uh, as part of that, so again, that term inclusive, right? Promote inclusive digital development, right? It's for your betterment. It's to be more inclusive and include more people around the world who do not have the same resources nor opportunities. Now says said that the program will serve as a platform for different stakeholders to share thoughts on how building inclusive digital ID and other tools can contribute to strong and equitable societies. All right. There again, there's another term equitable. Right. So they're trying to make it seem as if they're seeking equality for people, as if they want to see people receive the same fair opportunities and, and different aspects of life, so on and so forth, when it is uh, absolutely the contrary. Now it says right here, continuing on, it says the launch will take place via a virtual event and it says, and is surrounded by partners, including the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, which has been 
a leading fundraising campaign for DPI development, the Digital Public Goods Alliance and co-develop, right? So again, being developed and promoted, funded, so on and so forth through that damn devil, Bill Gates, all right, AKA Kill Gates. Now it says, per the 50 and 5 website, the initiative is an advocacy campaign fronted by the UNDP with the aim of having at least 50 countries successfully, quote unquote, design, launch, and scale components of their digital public infrastructure by 2028. Again, doing it all for your own good, doing it all for the sake of, of equal opportunities, right? Again, equitable societies, right? Continuing on, it says, during the launch event, participants will share learnings, best practices, and technologies through which countries can build less costly, efficient, and impactful DPI, which again goes into digital public infrastructure within a short period of time. DPI is a combination of digital tools such as digital identity ecosystem, digital payments platforms, and data exchange facilities, which make it possible for countries to deliver secure and seamless services to users. Mm -hmm. So as you see, they're trying to get their hands on whatever smaller countries they can use as a guinea pig to um, to go and put this system on display. Mm -hmm. As you know, many brothers know, uh, you know, countries like uh, what is it, Sweden, where mm -hmm. you know many of them already have the the uh, C hip the, mm -hmm. the chip already in place. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and Sweden being uh, home to the World Economic Forum, right? And uh, they're of course clown Klaus Schwab, you know, being the founder thereof. So uh, yeah, he, he of course he's really a Rothschild. You go back to his his uh, the lineage of, of his his father, or I should say his mother, Salakia. But really, he, again, but the point being, let's get back on track. Is that again they're using it like the Aquanaut just said? They're using these smaller countries and whatnot, and ultimately they're going to use that as an influence for many other larger countries to go along with it, right? So this is a, a launch point, if you will, right? So continuing on on the same theme, this is uh, a biometric update.com, right? Ubico joins EWC's large scale pilot for EU digital ID wallet, right? So it says right here, and this was reported in November. This was just reported within the last week as well. It says hardware security key firm Ubico is joining one of our four, one of four large scale pilots developing the underlying technology for the incoming EU digital identity framework for wallets and has released a working demo, right? So before we go into that, let's go ahead and look up uh, this, this right here, as far as um, actually, well, that's like it. Let me continue on. Yeah, let me go ahead and continue on further down. So like, yeah, we get a couple more things. So it says in a blog post, Ubico's Steina Ehrensvard said the company has been invited to join an associate partner in the EU Identity Wallet Consortium, or EWC, an LSP co-founded by agencies of the Swedish government. Right. Again, so going back to Sweden, right, the World Economic Forum. And so it says including the agency for digital government to codify digital wallet frameworks in anticipation of the rollout of the EIDAS 2.0 in 2025 to 2026. The Finnish Ministry of Finance is also helping coordinate the project, right? So again, they're coordinating this and they're all in bed with each other, right? So let's go ahead and get, uh, let's pull this up for YubiKey. All right, so YubiKey is the hardware authentication device manufactured by Yubico to protect access to computers, networks, and online services that perform, uh, and online services, right? Okay, so I'll just leave it at that. Okay, so, but now further down, it says, founded in 2007 by CEO Steina or Stina Ehrensbard, Yubico is a private company with offices in Palo Alto, which is in California, Seattle, and Stockholm, which is the capital of Sweden, right? So let's go ahead and look further now into, again, just to confirm that. So we go into Yubico again, and it says right there, um, continuing on. So, oh, Slack, yeah, you know what? Okay, now we're good. Slack, you for that. So now it says right here, um, yeah, online services, again, that support one-time passwords, OTP, public key cryptography and authentication and the universal second factor and FIDO protocols, right? Developed by the FIDO Alliance. Now the term FIDO, per Google goes into fast identity online 
is a set tech a set of technology agnostic security specifications for strong authentication right so finding different ways to authenticate people uh, individuals and whatnot um you know systems if you will so on and so forth right and the participants within right so let's go further in now into Steina Ehrensvard, which again says that Stein, Steina Ehrensvard is a Swedish American entrepreneur, innovator, and industrial designer, right? She is the founder of and CEO of Ubico and the co-inventor of YubiKey authentication device, right? So of current, uh, according to this, you know, she is currently living in Sweden, or at least, you know, obviously that's subject to change. Now let's go into the point that this is pulled up from the WEF World Economic Forum, right? which is this dates back to 2016 right so it says right here this was a session uh, if you will that took place over a course of, of a few days in sweden right and uh this is right here i believe dated on thursday the 19th of may right which goes back to 2016 in conversation with iconic leaders in the world of technology and innovation uh, whose name do you see at the bottom steina Ehrensvard, right so she is in bed with the World Economic Forum, okay, with the WEF. So she is a WEF puppet, okay? So now we'll continue on and get some things out of this here. Now it says the goal of the EUDI wallet LSPs is to develop and demonstrate an architecture for digital wallets that gives the user comprehensive control over where and with whom their personal data is being shared while remaining compliant with the European digital identity wallet architecture and reference framework, independent of major smartphone and platform providers, secure and user-friendly, right? Again, user-friendly, right? These are all for your betterment. And these things are going to take place. It's not if, it is when, but I don't know if the Zalos will, that these things get rushed, that the Heavenly Father, again, as the scripture says, speeding up time for the elect's sake, right? Because these, these damn devils think they have uh, as much, you know, as much time as they want, really trying to push out things that they want to accomplish by 2050 and so on and so forth, continuing to try to stretch out how long they have. Right now, continue finishing up here, it says Yubico will support e the ECW specific use case of a wallet for which multiple ent uh, entities require shared control. The key word there again, multiple entities required shared control. It says this is sometimes referred to as an organizational wallet or a legal person wallet, Aaron's Bard writes. The goal is to then develop more use cases across government and commercial services where users cannot or do not want to rely on a mobile platform, right? So something they can use in, in a government aspect, commercial aspect, AKA your digital driver's license, your digital health documentation, your digital crypto wallet, right? Your ability to go pay for a, a, a taxi ride, go pay for a, a bar of soap, right? Go pay for a meal, so on and so forth. So all of the things are going to be pulled up into the, the same type of digital device. And ultimately, it is going to be implanted right into your body. Right now, finishing up here, it says um, in the form again of the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast pursuant to Revelation chapter 13. Now it says right here, it will draw on research and conducted in collaboration in the Greek universities network around adding FIDO based authentication and encryptication encryption to the latter's open source web-based ID wallet, All right? Which they mentioned there. So we will go ahead and reference this, biometricupdate.com. Greece adding more ID documents to government digital wallet, right? And this was supposed to again within the last week. Now it says right here, Greece's digital governance minister, Dimitri Papastergio says, uh, says two new documents, namely the car registration license and the biometric passport will soon be added to the gov.gr, okay, government of Greece, right? Digital wallet app that was launched last year. The government officially, or the government official dropped a hint in an interview with local radio. Issues related to legal and technical procedures are being worked out and the two documents will be supported by the wallet within the next six months, the minister said. The outlet also cites Papa Sturgio as saying that the new version of the digital wallet is being developed to which more credentials, such as the new national digital ID card and the DYPA, which goes into unemployment benefits, their card and academic diplomas will be added. Wow. And, you know, these people need access to, you know, 
unemployment benefits are, are going to be forced to to get these things to be part of that system to have those benefits and you see academic diplomas will be added so you see people will no longer be offering uh, ac academic diplomas in the old way which would whether it be uh, a printed version or or a you know pdf uh, type of version it, they'll need it to be authenticated through that digital id system mm -hmm. and you need those people are going to need those diplomas for for jobs for for different um you know things that they're trying to sign up for mm -hmm. absolutely right, this is just forcing the hand mm -hmm. yep absolutely so continuing on again and that's going to reference same thing that's going to go on here right the people on the you know unemployment slash welfare programs and, and so on and so forth man ultimately you're going to have to you're going to have to make that choice if you're going to continue to receive those benefits you're going to have to take on that 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 chip you're going to have to you're going to have to uh what's the old saying uh pay to play well yeah you're gonna have to pay with the price of getting that rfid microchip if you want to play with an esau system right that's what it's going to come down to so it says the new version of the wallet is expected to be launched within weeks with the new wallet users will be able to have easy access to a wide range of government and private sector services according to papa Sturgio. right again it's for your betterment you're gonna have access to all these different services that are within your daily life quote unquote it says who also revealed that digital calls and payment services will soon be available for greek citizens the greek government has digitalized 1600 public services according to papa Sturgio. greece will start uh, issuing new digital id cards in september okay and i believe that to be 2024 because it does not say a date which obviously we're here in november 2023 so yeah yeah that's just another form of these damn devils thinking they have more time than they, than they I don't know the Zah. We're out of here before that. So let's take a look now. This is also a video that the beautiful brother Laab did. All right, Baba Gashai, subscribe to the brother's channel, right? Heart of David, number 144, number two. Again, Heart of David, 144, number two. I also reposted this in my community tab. All right, so I don't know the Zah, brothers will check it out. This video being titled, Your Bank Will Be Next. Okay, I just wanna play a couple minutes of the brother's video because he was going in on something beautiful. So let's, let's take a listen. And then when we go down here to verse 15, it says, For a while he will abide with thee, but if thou begin to fall, he will not tarry. So, yeah, um, he'll pretty much be by your side, you know, while you're going through this struggle. But if thou begin to fall, he will not tarry. So once he sees that you're starting to fall, reaching a breaking point that's where you're going to make his move because what did they say about the cbdc's how did they say they're going to introduce it to the people knowing most people will reject it under normal circumstances he said that they will soften up the people to the idea of being implanted with a microchip which will hold the digital CBDCs, the digital currency. He said he will soften up the people to the idea of accepting it um, um, through calamity, through catastrophes. You know, such as somebody um, lived through a natural disaster, a flood, an earthquake, a tornado. They lost their home, you know, lost everything they own, didn't have the money. Uh, to continue to live, you know, until insurance or whatever um, restored everything. You know, those people would be in desperate need of help and assistance. So that's what they will use. That's that's what that's the people beginning to fall. They reach that breaking point, you know, or whatever else. They're gonna wait to people go through different catastrophes and use that um you know to 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 ease their way in there to get people to receive the RFID microchip 
and enemy speaker sweetly with his lips. So yeah, when people going through these different calamities, catastrophes, that's when he gonna speak sweetly with his lips. Like, hey, we know you lost everything. We know you don't have a home or vehicle to drive. We know you don't have any money. You can't work. So we know you're reaching a breaking point. You at a low point in life. You know, your money is beginning to fall. That's when he gonna try to sweet talk you with his lips. Like, hey, how about you get this digital device implanted in you? Hey, that way, if anything else happens, we can always find you. And we're gonna give you a, 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 a digital currency. So you- Mm-hmm. Yeah, brother makes some beautiful points, right? So again, Heart of David 144, number two, titled your bank will be next i don't know if this is out. i'll put a description in the in the put a link for this in the description box all right so again they're gonna try to catch you catch you when you're at your worst point man they're gonna make it so hard to where you absolute to function right and this goes into revelation chapter 13 right they're gonna make it so where you are gonna absolutely need it all right so you know, let's, let's go ahead and pull this up uh first this is the uh the nlt version right this is uh revelation Chapter 13 and verse 15. Now it says right here, he was then permitted, speaking of the, the spiritual demons, saying that these damn uh slack it, these damn devils, right? This is speaking of Esau of Edom, right? Which again, you know, these are the, the sons of the wicked, right? The wicked. So again, he was then at the NATO beast system, right? EU, okay, their combined system. So it says he was then permitted to give life to his statue to the statue that he should that it should speak the beast system right then the statue commanded so like then the statue of the beast commanded that anyone refusing to worship it must die right and you must die so and again if you refuse to go along with the narrative if you refuse to go That's along right. with their statue if you do not take part partake in this system the beast system that's implemented and that statue being being its um its protocols that it has set to be you know in a in a spiritual sense uh worship mm -hmm. of them because these uh leaders of the beast system have created this um that they will be uh dead man dead to this world and ultimately perish from not being able to um you know not being able to to get what they need and and some will be um, you know killed off for resisting mm -hmm. beautifully said absolutely so what we're going to do right now is grab the the definition here right i'm going to go down to and then this is the nlt version once again new living translation should be killed right let's grab this okay strong's g 615 apartino 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 right so is it goes down says to kill in any way whatever right so to destroy to allow to perish Right. So again, to destroy, whether it be again a martyr or allowed to perish by what? Lack of nourishment, not providing the, the vital necessities of life. Right. And also metaphorically, right? To extinguish, to abolish, to inflict mortal death, or it says to deprive of spiritual life and procure eternal misery in hell. Now again, uh, let's go back to this term extinguish and abolish, right? And the term abolish. In the etymonline.com online etymology dictionary abolish to put an end to to do away with right so again the point being is that what they are going to be non-functioning members of society right they will ultimately again perish from the lack of necessities so on and so forth right so they will no longer be functioning members of society those who do not come to worship that mark who do not go along with the narrative that is being pushed Right now, let's go ahead and pull this back up in the KJV and we'll we'll get Revelation 13. We'll get 15. Now it says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Right. So 16 says, and he causeth all speaking of all people, both small and great rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, right? So no matter what statue of, uh, in a in a, the social aspect of it, right? Okay, no matter whether you're, you know, a, a millionaire, whether you're a celebrity, 
whether you're, you know, locked up an inmate in Pelican Bay, right? So on and so forth. You are going to be forced to take this chip, right? Let's go into this term mark, okay? Let's lock you. This is a mark in Revelation 13, 16. So haragma or paragma, as it's pronounced as well, right? So it says right here, a stamp or an imprinted mark of the mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand as the badge of the followers of the anti mashiach right? Antichrist, let's say a verbatim, derived from, you know, Christ deriving from mashiach which means anointed one or anointed, right? So, you know, anti mashiach okay? So, yeah, and then this is uh, an actual physical mark, you know? Mm-hmm. Gone, right? Which goes into the second biblical usage, right? Thing carved, sculpture, graven work. But again, it is a thing carved because haragma, karagma draws from karax, which means a cutting and a physical cutting. Beautiful. Right? Okay. A cutting in the flesh. Right? So again, verse 17, it says, and that no man might buy or sell, save, and that term save translates to unless. Right? So, and that no man might buy or sell save unless he that had the mark right again that haragma that physical that physical mark that, that again that's the of the microchip implantable device or the name of the beast or the number of his name right so those who do not worship the beast system right point blank period so this is a physical mark some say it is a spiritual spiritual mark oh salakia uh, and transfer that over salakia for that so again, we just read uh, 15 through 17, right? Revelation 13. Okay. So again, that was Revelation 13, 15 through 17. All right. So lock it for not transferring that over in time. And Brother Benal is going to grab the next reading. It's going to be Revelation 14 and starting at verse 6. And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth. And to every nation and kindred and tongue and people. Uh, speaking of the Israelite people. That's right, man. So this this word being uh, preached across all four corners, you know, to all the Israelites um, here and scattered abroad. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because our people are scattered abroad as part of the curses, right? So because of our disobedience and so on and so forth, our people are, are physically scattered all over the entire earth. So that's why it says every nation, kindred, and tongue, and people, because our people speak in different dialects and different languages, and the diversity of our people all throughout the earth. Kind of that, that gospel going into uh, good news mm -hmm. for for our people, mm -hmm. the, you know, the seed of Jacob. Mm -hmm. It says, saying with a loud voice, fear the Most High, fear God, and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment is come. And worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters. Mm -hmm. Try right. so fear God, right? As Ecclesiastes 12 and 13 says, let's hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man and Israelite man, women, and child, of course. So give glory to him, right? And what would we be doing if we were to take that mark, the RFID microchip, worship the beast system? That is idolatry. That is Contrary to the ways of Yahweh and Yahshai, you are then seeking uh, to serve that wicked BC, uh, B system, right? So you're not serving Yahweh and Yahshai, especially once you take that mark. That is the mark of your, that is your resignation. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, <clears throat> what is that? Sheik Luch, you can kiss your ass goodbye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God. It says, uh, but yeah, that, that judgment is coming. We're, you know, through measuring the times diligently, we know we are. We are in those those end times right now. It says, uh, but yeah, so hey, the Heavenly Father, you know, worship the, the Heavenly Father and the only begotten Son. But, you know, the Heavenly Father being the creator of the, the heaven, the earth, the, the sea, and the mount, fountain of waters, you know, being being the, um, the people that are, are inhabiting the earth. It says, and, and there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, the great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And that's right. Babylon, that great whore, continuing to uh, push, you know, 
push wickedness and, and push this uh, Western indoctrination onto the, the rest of the heathen nations across the whole earth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And um, continue here, it says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. So going back to... Um, back to the scripture we're reading before about the karagma being the, the um, mark of the beast saying uh if any that worship and receive this mark the same shall drink the wine of the wrath of god which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation so that indignation being a uh, uh, you know uh, anger right mm-hmm. yep, righteous anger come gone and pour it out without mixture. So, hey, it's going to be a, a equal um, punishment, equal, um, you know, uh, judgment unto to everyone who takes that. Mm-hmm. It says, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. And, and those holy angels uh, also being the elect that are beamed up, up in the, that, that fathership. Um, you know, that are going to be um, the first uh, fruits, mm-hmm. you know, and then being in the presence of the Lamb, being Yahweh Shai Mashiach, Adwan Ratzaza, you know, you you sincere Akim and, you know, the Akiwa are going to be, um, you know, sipping that new wine with Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Mm-hmm. But hey, that, that um, going back into that, um, you know, Mm-hmm. Very beautiful. Go ahead and bring that up because I was about to mention you know, that that lake of fire. So mm-hmm. go go beautiful. ahead. And... Beautiful. That's right. This is a uh, revelation. In fact, here I'll start at the. I'll start at Slack. I'll, start, I'll pull up the first verse. Revelation fifteen and one. And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous. Seven angels, a complete number of angels, having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of the Most High. I see these different plagues are going to befall the earth and ultimately the last plague. And that seventh plague being the destruction of Babylon, America, and those RFID missiles hitting. Right, yeah, the hypersonic. Iron Salak, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hypersonic missiles. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, that's it. But that chip, yeah, those who take that chip. So, like the Ak Red, and we'll pull that back up. You know, speaking of that fire and brimstone, which uh, was going to befall Babylon, America in the form of hypersonic, hypersonic uh, thermonuclear missiles. So Revelation 15 and 2, and I saw, as it were, a sea of glass mingled with fire, a sea of glass, speaking of the firmament, right, watching from the holy chariots, right, and watching Adonathazah from the holy chariots and or that father ship. Looking down. Right? Looking down, exactly, kind of looking down at the earth, right, so it says, a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten victory over the beast. Oh, so, hey, them that gotten the victory, you know, being the, the elect, mm-hmm. the redeemed from the earth. According to uh, Revelation 14 chapter, mm-hmm. hey, that that sea of glass being, uh, you know, chiefly Babylon, America, you know, being, uh, um, you know, uh, surrounded by bodies of water, and, and you know, the John the Revelator seeing Babylon uh, uh, burning, you know, just seeing uh, from up there, seeing a, a, a large, vast land uh, that looks like it's uh, just a body of water on fire. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right, so it says that victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of God. Right, so it says in verse three, on having that harps and that that's uh singing the song that mm-hmm. no one else could sing but the elect, mm-hmm. being this truth, man, being this gospel. Mm-hmm. Con, con, right, and that's beautiful because it, it also goes twofold, right, being able to sing this new song. Right. And, and if you look it up in the uh, in the blue letter, right, going to the definition of harps, it goes into an affinity. Right. And having having the affinity and the term affinity goes into a likeness. Right. So speaking of those celestial bodies with spiritual power. Right. Right. So, again, having a likeness unto God, having the everlasting immortality. Hey, Amen. And uh, going back to that first Corinthians 15 getting beamed up and being a. Uh, are, are these bodies changing in, in the twinkling of an eye? Mm-hmm. That's right. Beautiful. Yeah, pa. Right, man. So in uh, right there, so in verse three, we'll pull up, finish up the next verse. Says, and they sing the song of Moses, the servant of the Most High, and the song of the Lamb. Again, speaking of our Lord and Savior, 
saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord Power Almighty, just and true are thy ways, thou King of saints. And who are the saints? Pursuant to Psalm 148. Those are the Israelites, starting with the remnant of the elect. That's right. That's right. So let's go ahead and, pull, and we're going to go back to uh, that uh, that revelation that the Ak was reading. And get that last verse there. Uh, it's Revelation 14 and 11. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever. And they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Mm -hmm. That's right. So again, that smoke, yeah, from the fire and the brimstone. Right? That's right. So, hey, just like it says in Revelation 18, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that, you know, that they're going to um, sign or they're going to cry mm -hmm. from Babylon from across the, the waters. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, the smoke of her gonna, burning. You're going to see Babylon burning all the way from, uh, you know, over there in Europe, man, mm -hmm. all the way across the water, across the pond. Mm hmm. Yep, absolutely. All the other nations are going to be able to know that that final judgment befell Babylon, America, and that the righteous kingdom of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai is at hand, right? Absolutely. So again, those who take that mark, those who worship the beast system, so on and so forth, they are going to be caught up in that judgment. So whoever worships that beast system, right? Beautiful. I'm going to wrap it up soon. We'll grab this last little uh, bit of this article that came out. This is from Children's healthdefense.org again children's healthdefense.org right so this is uh it says right here dated within the past week bill gates pushes digital id for newborns in kenya right so again right there again the bill and melinda gates foundation right they're playing a role in assisting the kenyan government in its development and rollout of a government-backed digital id program Right. So, again, this was also what the uh, Akbanan mentioned earlier regarding that in the sense of all those 50 countries, the 50 and five. Right. So they're looking to try to set these these things up and establish them in, in other, quote unquote, uh, you know, third world countries, quote unquote, so on and so forth. Right. So just a part of this that I wanted to bring up, which, uh, you know, but I'll, I, I don't know. If this, uh, maybe I'll post this in the description box as well, as far as the article goes. But, um, you know, some of it's uh, opinion as opposed to fact. So, you know, I don't like to dive into those too much, but it just goes into the different aspects of it. I, I know I will. I will post this in the in the description box because it is worth a read. But, you know, I, I, I'm trying to catch a needless strike here. But the point being right here, it says Mesha Maisha Namba is a Kishwali for life number. Right. Life number. Right. So that's, uh, you know, that's something to also. You know, right here, it says right here, right? The identification number attached to Maisha Namba will also be used to register for government services, including education, health insurance, tax, and social security, right? So again, this is something that they're going to do to try to say, hey, this is going to be used for this social service. This is going to be used for your education. This is going to be used for your health documentation, so on and so forth. Right. So again, my number is Kishwali for life number. Right. So Kaisai stigma goes back to the barcode system. Right. So they're trying to all have a number. Right. Just as we do here in Babylon, America. Right. You got a, a social security number the day you're born, you know, a birth certificate, a tax ID number, you got a driver's license number. You know, if you have a California state ID, I believe those are numbered as well. Right. So on and so forth. So there's <laughs> No escaping it one way or another. They're trying to brand and uh, ultimately have everything in, in that type of uh, order, if you will, quote unquote, right? Have a have a power over it, right? Uh, this is Isaiah 30, sorry, in verse 1. And and mind you, this is in the GNT, Good News Translation per Bible. It says, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, has spoken. Those who rule Judah are doomed because they rebel against me. They follow plans that I did not make and sign treaties against my will, piling one sin on another. That's yeah, so our people, many a many time, as well as it continues on to this very day, right? Judah and Israel, right? all 12 tribes combined, the 12 tribes of Israel, many of our people continue to go against the ways of Yahweh Shem Yahshai, right? And they continue to, to seek carnality they continue to trust in things that are not of the heavenly father nor the spirit 
uh, and the Holy Spirit, of course. Kind, kind, and we're uh, you know, that's the thing that a lot of people have uh, contention with, with the plans of the Heavenly Father, mm-hmm. because hey, this is the Heavenly Father's will to um, to bring destruction, man, mm-hmm. and to uh, ultimately bring chaos into this place before mm-hmm. the end. Mm-hmm. And you see many of the people, you so-called, uh, you know, Christians, and, and they, they claim to be believers of God, but they they make their own plans. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. They have their own way of looking at it. And, well, that's, you know, oh, God wouldn't do that. Or, you know, how, what do you think about it? How do you feel about it? As opposed to how does Yahweh Bashim what do the scriptures say? How does mm-hmm. the Heavenly Father and only God Son feel about it? Okay. Continue. It says, uh, they go to Egypt for help without asking for my advice. They want Egypt to protect them, so they put their trust in Egypt's king. That's right. So many of them putting their trust in in the so-called uh, government and, and presidents that they vote for, and and all these things that that they think will protect them and prolong their life, not regarding. Pleasing Yah Bashim Yah Shai and and staying in tune with with plans of the Most High. Mm-hmm. God, that's right, man. Because this place, pursuant to the Book of Revelation, right, and spiritually Sodom, spiritually so spiritually Sodom and Gomorrah, spiritually Egypt. God, and then right. uh, speaking Egypt, of Babylon, America. Yep, in Egypt, according to uh, the meaning being a house of bondage. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. God it says, uh, but the king will be powerless to to help them. And Egypt's protection will end in disaster. Mm -hmm. That's right. The Most High is undefeated. So, Mm -hmm. hey, the the protection and and all the um, promises that that Babylon and these uh, so-called world leaders have right now are are useless, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right, man. So, again, not to trust our enemy. Going back to Sirach 12 and 10, which we started out with, right? Do not trust in Egypt. Do not trust in these, quote-unquote, governments, right? You know, all these false these false leaders man these puppet shadow governments and so on and so forth man that when, when it really comes down to it it all goes back to the uh the, the elite banking families right so again man we cannot put our trust in those things man carnality we cannot trust in you know everything that they're pushing right all these false narratives right you got to get that juicy juice and then the ultimate is going to lead to the chip right so we have to resist right, That's right. okay and, and remain in the spirit and pray that be continuously abounding in the spirit of Yahweh Hashem El Shai. Because you get many, like the Akbar just mentioned, you got many people who are teaching and preaching falsehoods, prosperity doctrines, and, and things that are not of the truth whatsoever. And right? so we have to separate ourselves. This is Romans 16 and 17. Now I beseech you, which goes, beseech goes into plead or I beg with you, I beg you. And so I now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them, right? So if they say, oh, they, the mark is this, the mark is sin, the mark is an embargo, the mark is this, the mark is so on and so forth, whatever they say, if they don't say it's the RFID microchip, right? Then that's that's contrary to the doctrine. That's contrary to what it is, okay? So again, avoid them, point blank period. They're gonna cause divisions, they're gonna cause envy and strife to flourish, whatever it is. At the end of the day, that ain't, that ain't for the sincere hearted. That ain't for the remnant of the elect. Those are not the ways of Yahweh Shemel Shai. Now, Romans 16 and 18. For they that are such serve not our our, our Lord, which translates from Adawanawa, our Lord. Adawan meaning Lord. Adawanawa meaning our Lord. Yahweh Shai Mashiach, right? And the Paleo Hebrew tongue, right? So again, Adawanawa Yahweh Shai Mashiach. They do not serve our Lord. Okay, it says, but their own belly. Right, their own belly, their own mind, their own their own will, quote unquote. Right, and mind you, again, there is no such thing as free will, but they, their their ill will, God, their own uh, cra- their their cravings and their lust of this this, this life. Mm-hmm. That's right, absolutely, seeking preeminence and, and seeking vainglory, ill-gotten gain, covetousness, so on and so forth. So it says, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. All right, man. So they, they're going to be able to deceive the simple, right? They're going to be able with their fair words, their elaborate garments and looks and fancy feasts, quote unquote, and so on and so forth, right? They're they're uh, going to look to build themselves up 
in a carnal sense and and it's all in vain glory at the end of the day so again we have to separate ourselves from such uh, what does the scripture say that says simple go on and are punished mm -hmm. yeah so i had a prudent man look well to his coins kind of absolutely so lord's will we may continue to remain in a, a believing spirit and a, and in a spirit that fears you how and displeasing our power that's right that's right so so that yeah. and wrap it up with that kind of Hey, so the so, Wadi Al Bashim Yo Shai for allowing us to um to do this lesson through the spirit. And out of one Ratzizah, it's been edifying to you, sincere Akiam and Akiawat out there. You know, peace and blessings be upon you and your households. As always, we want to face the East and give all honor, glory, and praise to our power. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakudash. And once again, double honors and respects, salutations to the sincere elders and apostles of Great Millstone and the like-minded elders teaching in truth and sincerity across all four corners. Peace and blessings be upon you and your households and shalom to the hopeful elect, the brothers and sisters out there continuing to seek the, you know, seek the, the mercies and, and seek the return of our Lord and Savior. Peace and blessings to you and your household, as always, to the sincere hearted. Keep fighting the good fight of faith. That's right. All right. So, as always, want to close out with a curse on Babylon. Abba, Abba, DTA. So, Bob, Yasharala. All right. Shalom. The water. Shalom.